Hello everybody and welcome back, you know the drill, it's a new week, a new session, I've forgotten everything I said previously, so... If we repeat the same shit, I'm sorry. Ow. You know, honestly, in uh, thinking about D&D &D games and stuff, like... I've realized it honestly doesn't fucking matter what I play, as long as I'm playing with you guys, I'm having a good time. Yeah. Whether well, it's that is the important thing. You're just yeah. having fun. Yeah. Well, like the settings are cool, and there are definitely Bruce. games and settings that I Bruce. want to explore. I I want to I want to hit up all the classics. That, I want to hit fine. Ryoko's Guide. I want to do. I forget. You I've, I've said them over and over and over, even in this yeah. own fucking playthrough. Uh, it's just fucking fun. It's fun to have those experiences. I've often thought, like, if I could be isekai I would want to have you guys with me. So then I'd just be like, oh, cool, my friends are here. This is great. Let's ha let's do a fucking isekai adventure. Let's do this. I, I feel like I'd be pretty content. Son with of that. a bitch. I just what? remembered something. Really what? They're... Like, they had a, uh... Big Pathfinder 2E, the Humble Bundle sale, where you could get everything for, like... Everything. 70 bucks. What's everything? Like, everything? Pathfinder 2E, the main book. You have uh, the secondary books. You know, like the Monster Manual, the Player's Handbook, the Extended Monster Manual. Then uh, double-sided maps the fuck is for, going on? like, tabletop, you know? Ooh. Like, for uh, digitally. You know? Yeah. Where am I supposed to be going? Like just two, like two hundred. No, I think it was like a thousand dollars worth of stuff God for like seventy bucks. I forgot that's, to get it. That's a pretty fucking wild deal. Yeah. But you know what? Don't feel too bad. I'm sure if it happened once, there's a chance it'll happen again. You know. This was for their, uh, like the anniversary for the re-release. Ah, shit. Okay, then that's less likely. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That, that's the sucks. anniversary of their, uh, uh, essentially version 2 of Pathfinder 2. The Wait, the there's... first one they came out... They definitely had the motivation. Yeah, like, the first one they came out was just, uh, pretty much over, and this one is them, like, changing some of the things to distance themselves even further from D&D. &D. Huh. Like, there is no, uh, what's it called? There is no, uh... Alignment no... system anymore. Wait, there, what? There's no alignment system anymore. Ha... Like good, evil. I okay. I know it's not super duper necessary, but that sounds like a weird removal where it's just like. Then again, how often do you play a character that's evil? I guess. Not not just that. It's more of a, again, distancing themselves from Wizards of the Coast and D and D. Right. Have you ever played an it's, evil uh, character? It's beautiful. It's, uh, not fully evil. Uh, I'd say Magnin is kind of not good, though. And yeah, he's goodbye. like a, a fucking chaotic... He's like a chaos cleric for a... Oh! Oh, crap, we lost you. Hold on. Beep. Ah, crap, I forgot the timer. Ah, whatever. Uh, That was like, what? A minute? Uh, let's see. We're... Oh, uh, yeah, we're about a minute in. Founder Baldridge, I received word you are mustering your soldiers to attack me. As a fellow pirate, and as a friend prior to our years in the Battalia, I implore you, heed my words. I know not who sowed the seeds of our current discord. Hey, discord. I'm howling at the moon. <laughs> but of this I am certain. If the Civil War continues, everything we have spent our lives working towards shall come to ruin. History will remember us not as pioneers, but as fools. We must put a stop to this conflict. I smell ham. That's weird. Why do I smell ham? Whatever. We must put a stop to this conflict together. Did your brother Should... make like jalapeno bacon? Yeah, he, he bought like jalapeno bacon from like the the meat store. <sighs> Should we join forces, we shall have the strongest alliance on the island. The other founders will either join us or fall to our superior might. If you agree, light a candle in your study this evening, and I shall take that as a sign you have come to your senses. 
If not, remember both Want and England have made attempts on my life and failed. Founder Condon. So, that's what happened. All the fucking pirates started coming at each other because they wanted to be the one and only. Yeah, they wanted to be the oh, essentially the king of this thing. No yeah. Kidding. Each one thought they deserved the, uh, the the lion's share. So it seems like civil war broke out. All the the rich pirate lords started amassing resources and taking snapping up all the wealth that they could. The people found out, and then they started to riot and rebel. So there was like this fucking almost like th I don't know how many fucking conflict sides there were, but there was like almost this battle royale of Libertalia. Between, like, the the founders fighting each other, yeah. and then the rebels so trying Jerry, to fight don't. all of them. Sony's listening, don't give them a pirate battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Ubisoft, whatever you do, don't release another quadruple-A pirate game! I would bet hard money that Sony hey, would be out. like, Ooh, yes, let's do that, let's do that! And then they'll hire fucking Ubisoft. Because, you know, they have the pirate game, her, her, her. Because what are they going to do? Go and get the actual good people who made the actual good pirate game? They can't afford Rare. That's Microsoft's. That's that's enemy territory. <laughs> Indeed. That being said, oh yeah, Sea of Thieves is on PlayStation now, isn't it? We could play that. Or it's coming to PlayStation? Whatever. It I is on a, PlayStation. I need to get a PS5 still, but Ooh, that could be a fun one to get. Yeah, especially since it's crossplay. So we could probably bring a uh, Wav and. Yeah, I just don't. You know. It's probably going to require a fucking Microsoft account. I'm so I tired of that being I don't remember, a honestly. Like... I mean, I have it on Steam, but I don't remember if it does. Require one or not? Well, I mean, on Steam, like it's already got your fucking computer thing, because it's already like, oh, you already have all your info. No, in the that's launcher. the thing. It does. It doesn't. If it needs a Xbox, like a Microsoft account, it will let you know. Like it does say, is like, oh, hey, you can't play this without a Microsoft account, eh. specifically. Well, that's the thing. You so can play it, does... it without a Microsoft account, but the crossplay is what requires the account. I'm betting. And it's just that's the big thing that like turns me away from all this shit because I am so. So fucking tired of signing up for shit just to be able to play one game, you know? Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing that's actually turned me away from uh, Blizzard and Ubisoft and EA because, like, yeah, their games are shit nowadays, and yeah, they're shit companies who do shitty things, and the people at the top are absolute ass goblins. But, like,. Requiring all these fucking accounts and sign-in shit, like, that just makes me lose interest so fucking fast. Like, I just... Well, I that's just the thing. Bother. It's for the uh, shareholders. Like, yeah. oh, hey, people have made new... Like, more people have made accounts. Like, that's the thing that was like, oh, yeah, uh, when you were like, oh, yeah, we should do Diablo 2 or Diablo 4. I was just like, no, that would require making a fucking Battle.net account again. And I already deleted all that shit. I, I'm not interested, like, as fun as those games MIGHT be, because again, there's no guarantee we'll actually have fun with that. It's just, yeah. it's just not fucking worth it. Well, I have heard nothing but good things about Diablo 4 recently. Elena, why did you wait until- oh. Okay, whatever. Oh, is that okay? That's what I need to do. That's what it wants me to do. Okay. Hey, yo! Okay. Thanks for weighing it down now, Elena. Damn, she's heavier than me. What the fuck? Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. you make a great counterweight. Never tell uh, her that. I mean, <laughs> Nate. Oh no! 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 Fuck! Swallowed some water. <laughs> Nate. Hey, <laughs> swallowed some tea. water. Uh. All right. <laughs> um. He is great. Nate. Nate is. We love Nate. 
Okay, so what is... Oh, do I need to... Can I jump on the... It doesn't look like I can jump on these. What does it... What does it want me to... Oh, do I just go for that? Aha! Yar har. And then I can come around to here. Indy, congrats. In Duba Dibble Dabble. What would I do without you at my side? I made it. Well, I don't know, die. Nay, I shall not say. I surely would die. I was right. This should work. Alright, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Ooh, grandfather clock. Okay, so Oh. It's of course. Of yep. Sorry, I had to look at something real quick. You distracted me, him. It was your fault. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Just the shut up. <laughs> this fucking reminds me of uh, Sorrow TV when he was doing the. Uh... I can't remember which what which one it was, but it was like Chuck E. Cheese is closed today. Someone cummed in the rat suit, Look, and so it was like he Chuck E. Cheese in it, and there's like shut up. <laughs> Going up a pirate hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, I don't know, there's something so fucking great about that delivery. <laughs> oh, God. Nothing here, nothing here, okay. <laughs> and now I'm giggly, damn it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up, damn it! <laughs> damn! <laughs> Stop! Okay, I'm good. Looks like I'm good. Yeah, Jay, shut up. D no! <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that funny! <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. No. We're done. We're done from that. We're moving on. Oh We're done. We're done. We're done. This is serious. There are dead bodies in front of us. This is very serious and grim. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded the Baton. They were all poisoned, I bet you. Because I don't see stab wounds on them. Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. Three guesses who poisoned the rest of the founders and took all the haul for themselves. Cult? <laughs> Not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas Two. The original two. Henry Avery and Thomas Two. Thomas Two? Henry Avery. The only ones not present Looks at the like dinner table. Didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Yeah, there's no food on the plates, I just realized. And they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. And why share with one another when you could just kill one other man? Some of history's greatest pirates 
How much you want to bet we're going to find Thomas II or Henry Avery stabbed in the back somewhere? This very table. Probably. It's incredible. Yeah. Lena sees the passion in him again. I'm sorry. I, uh... It's nice. The passion that I'm sorry. pretty much attracted her to him in the first place. Yep. It's okay. Because let's be real, at his day job, he was all but fucking dead inside. So since like, I'm he wasn't depressed, but it was like, his dead. life was definitely missing that adventure. Like, it was monotonous. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, you notice, really? I still have my fucking grenade launcher on me. They didn't take it away from me when I fell in the water or something. You know how they like to do. Yeah. Which is surprising. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello. Oh, yep, take that. Okay, there are still pages for the journal. Because if, if that was the last page, then that's a good indicator that this is the end. Yeah. For posterity. <laughs> nice drawings, Nate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Honor Among Thieves! That's the title of the second game! He said the thing him! Well, he didn't say it. He wrote the thing him! Can I draw more of them? One guy lost his seat. Oh, it's back there. Oh. Yep. I guarantee you he tried to lunge for a two or Avery. Or just fucking staggered and made it only that far. Oh, Wait a minute, dude so that's... bent over it. This dude? Where? Where's his... Oh. oh. Okay, so... Wait, no. I thought that was his chair at first, but if that dude's that chair, then... Hold up, is there another empty chair over here? Oh, yeah, over there. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude made it all the way over there. No, that's that dude there. Oh, no, fuck. Where's the other chair? Huh, now that's strange. Maybe they didn't give him a chair. Maybe they ran out. Unless it was like a servant who decided to partake of the wine as well. <laughs> Ooh, just a sip. I shall partake. <laughs> Up here, slowly. Slowly, I say, as I sprint up the tree. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, I say, as I crumble and die. I'm okay. Thank goodness wood is sturdy and strong and doesn't hate me. I'll meet you up top. That much. That much, that's that's right. Hi, Elena! I must have the grip strength of a Burmese monkey python. I don't know if any of those... I'm just talking out of my ass. A Burmese monkey python? Yes. It's a monkey with the crushing strength of a python. So it's just a monkey? Yes. What, um, what would sound cooler, though? Of just a python? Like, monkey python makes me think of a fucking, like, naga python monkey, you know? That would be fucking wild. That'd be a fucking crazy D&D &D thing. For, like, going to an abandoned temple and it's like, oh yeah, all the monkeys that lived here have been transformed into fucking half-monkey naga servants. Because there's, like, some sort of fucking shenanigans. So just like the fucking Haddo Z? Just like the what? Yeah, that, the Hadozi from, uh, it's like a Spelljammer. Like, they're monkeys that have, like, flying squirrel f wing flaps. Oh, that's cool. And they were, uh, genetically modified to be soldiers, and then they turned against their wizards. The so, wizard I, was th <laughs> I was thinking of something so like, um, so what I was thinking of was, you, know, you remember in Sekiro, when you go into, like, the Valley of the Apes, and there's all those fucking sword-wielding monkeys that just attack you and shit with swords? Yeah. I was thinking of something like that, where they're just, they're just wild animals that have been transformed, and they just attack things. Macho Nacho? Wait, hold on. 
The point is, my boss was a psychopath. He was the manager at a macho nacho. Just watch it, okay? <laughs> This reminds me of the old fucking Dane Cook bit where it's like, my, my boss was a dick. He thought he was the Burger King, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright. Uh, looks like that's all the time we have. If it's a little bit off this time, we do apologize. But uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.